What's going on, everybody? Honda Pro Jason here with my new friend, Greg. How are you, Greg? I'm doing well, Jason. How are you doing today, buddy? Doing great, brother. We are here to check out your extremely spoon-equipped FK8. Yes, sir. Definitely love it. What year is it? The 2019. 2019 and, championship and, white, obviously. And I'll tell you what. I've been around the world. I've seen a lot of spoon-equipped cars. This FK8 has more spoon parts than any other spoon car I've seen, except for maybe the spoon car. That's it, though. Probably, yes. It is yes. insane. So so tell me, what was your first, the first mod, not this first spoon mod, but what was the first modification you did to the car? Very first mod was actually the uh, the VTEC, the turbo VTEC sticker on the In back. In the back, like Canada yes. has. Yep, yep. Because um, I saw that, I just like the look of it, and it's, you know. The second mod was going to be, like, it was just these little, just the little clear fender markers. Uh, you know what's funny is that those two first mods were very similar to my first two okay, mods. Okay, very nice. That's awesome. And then from there, it just went crazy, right? Yes, sir. Yep. So you, you have, let's start in the very, very front. So you have the spoon bumper, yes. which I love because you can paint it different ways. Yes, you can. And, and I love the way you paint it. Now, who did the paint work on that for you? The paint work was done by Brian, um, and he's uh, he's down at um, Acura Honda Classic, which is Acura of Pembroke Pines. Yes. A uh, great group of guys. Um, him, Mike. Uh, Jonathan, the whole crew down there, just amazing work, really took care of the car. I actually got to show this off at SEMA uh, mm -hmm. a couple years ago, and I thought that was amazing. So moving on, you have spoon wheels. Yes. And then going back, spoon stickers. The window visors, are they Honda? Yes, they're the OEM Honda visors. Very, very nice. Uh, brakes are? I do have the spoon pads front and rear. Nice. I also have the spoon brake lines, um, stainless brake lines. Um, let's see. GT wing, the crane neck GT wing is, you know, one of the newer parts. Definitely one of the most uh, distinctive, most recognizable. Yeah. Um, you definitely then see it. Moving on to, like I said, the rear bumper, the spoon rear bumper with the carbon diffuser. Yeah, I, I absolutely love the way the spoon bumpers look because they're so, they're subtle, they look factory, but you can definitely tell they're more aggressive, which I like, and extremely functional. Yes. Yes, I love the added that as well. And the exhaust? Yep, Spoon Sports exhaust, the N1 even, exhaust. Check out his plate. Even the license <laughs> plate has the Spoon crane on it. That's that's pretty pretty awesome. Yeah, trying to trying to go uh, front to back <laughs> and really go over the top absolutely love it absolutely love it. the whole package just works really well on the outside now moving to the inside what spoon parts do you have inside there that's for at this point um i, did, I have the, i do have the steering wheel and uh, i went with the works bell um we got their new the srd relocation kit so you get to keep your factory controls which is a, which is a nice option nice um and again the spoon sword wheel you can't go wrong with that so dude it's a gen 3 um but i also do have the wrap fix from works bell to flip up Okay. Which is another nice option just to help get in and out. Especially sure, especially when I get a chance to put my new seats in that uh, that are I do have in, in my possession, but I'm just waiting for the uh, the rails to come in from Japan. They, the Recaro and, rails are back ordered. And they're spoon seats. Correct. Yep, the spoon carbon Kevlar seats. Yes, sir. I cannot wait to see that. And then, of course, the mods didn't start, stop on the inside either. You went straight under the hood, too, and you have some pretty heavy-duty ones under there. I do, I do. I have a pretty good uh, pretty good amount there as well. What do you have under the hood? So right now, as far as spoon goodies, I got, uh, like I said, you'll see the head cover, the yellow head cover, and some of the little dress-up items. Um, I call them dress-up items, but yeah, the reservoir cover. Because oh, essentially, I mean, it is like a high-pressure radiator cap. Sure. Uh, and we do have the oil filler cap. Um, I said, I actually do have the spoon radiator. Nice. Um, I do have the spoon star thermostat. I also had spoon clutch line. I'm gonna I'm gonna call that an engine mod because it's of course. trying to go through like visually and see what I had going on in there. Man. Oh, who who makes this piece? I've never seen this before. That is an OEM uh, inlet pipe. What, what what'd you do? So I took it and I uh, I ordered an additional one. I kept my factory ones, you know, this as yeah. is. And I put it in a box. I ordered a, you know a new uh, new OEM part, and I just polished it by hand starting with basically 220 grit sandpaper wow. and worked your way all the way up to 3000 grit and then buffed it out. <laughs> it looks, it's a piece I would buy for my car. Like it looks <laughs> that cool. Very, very well done. I don't, know, I don't know if I'd ever do it again with how long it took, but thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I did also do the, uh, the, the clutch delay valve delete. Okay. I bought a new, I bought a new uh, clutch slave cylinder and we actually I've, deleted that. Have you heard that? It's, I, I've heard, it's a pretty I, good, I've, I've heard it makes a, it's a nice, it's a nice shifty. It's, yes. It's a nice upgrade. Um, Oh, spec and spoon shift knob again the Duracon shift knob and that's a nice little touch dude's got 
the spoon face <laughs> mask on, right? He's got the spoon shirt on. And what oh, in the heck is this? Are those spoon shoes? Yeah, well, yeah, you, not officially, <laughs> but yes, custom <laughs> ordered from Vans. Custom ordered spoon colored shoes. Absolutely the coolest, man. Thank you. Little touch, um, just again, to try to just to, just to really go with the entire spoon theme. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, we do now suspension. I do have spoon springs, spoon lowering springs, the rigid collars, the front and rear rigid collar set. I, I'll tell you what, Greg. So many people have called me on the rigid collars. They make such a difference. It's amazing. Oh, that's probably, Something... that, I've had many people ask me as well. And honestly, that's probably your, I think it's like the, the first thing I would do. <laughs> Before you even put the springs on, yep. I think the rigid collars, I mean, I did the stiff plate as well. Right. But I, I really think the rigid collars, bang for your buck, is probably one of the one of the best mods I made to the car. That's so. crazy. Besides the seats you said you're waiting on, mm -hmm. or the, the rails you're waiting on. Correct. Is there any other spoon parts that you haven't purchased yet that you want to? So next is going to be, I'm hoping to get that, the, uh, the turbo upgrade. Okay. The new turbo upgrade. Smart. Um, but that's, I mean, honestly, at this point is really, there's not a whole lot left and it was going to be a more of a waiting game to see what else, you know, what's, what's next. That's amazing. And, and most of these, you came from Spoon Sports USA out in California. Yep. That's correct. That's Aaron correct. and Tom, you guys rock. Yeah, they're I great mean, guys. Amazing. And this, this build just from bumper to bumper looks absolutely stunning. Greg, thank you so much for sharing your build with us. Absolutely. It is simply amazing. Again, huge Spoon fan as you are. So I appreciate you bringing this out. And as always, guys, this time from South Florida, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're in the know. What's going on everybody? Honda Pro Jason here with my friend Eric at H Day Spring 2021. How are you, brother? Good, thank you. We are gonna walk through Eric's limited edition Civic Type R Mugen catalog built car. This has, I believe, every accessory and part that Mugen makes for the FK8 on his car. Is that right? That's correct. And Plus the universal parts that I could use for the FK8. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Let's do this. You wanna start in the front? Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So let's let's start at the front. All right, so the most important, of course, uh, we have the, the hood, Mugen hood. Mugen carbon fiber. This is the first one I've ever seen. Yes, and uh, it's very rare. There's one in Hawaii, my friend, a good friend of mine one has one, uh, but in the East Coast, this is the only one that I know of. And, and I heard a story that when you got it, Mugen had only made two of them. This That's is correct. one of the two. I, uh, yeah, I actually got the first of two back in June of 2020. That's insane. For my black car. And you have the, the full body kit. So you have the front piece. The front piece painted. The side skirts. Side skirts. And then the rear piece. The rear piece, 2021 and up because you know the it's different it's different yeah, it's different right. very very cool so let's come across obviously you got the wheels the wheels the wheels really make it they look insanely cool and i opted with the r 888r just you know because i don't i don't drive the car that much anyway so very nice uh mirror cap covers mirror cap covers the visors the visors are mugen they're mugen visors coming to the back that spoiler the unmistakably mugen exactly. spoiler that is a piece of work when i went to mugen they wind tunnel test all of their parts okay. to make sure that they're actually okay. they actually do something for the car a lot of companies they look good uh -huh. but mugen actually wind tunnel tests it at their wind tunnel facility wow. in japan to make wow. any kind of changes to make sure that it's perfect perfect so I, I've been there when they've tested things, and, uh, it's insane. As, as same as the hood, this was one out of two in June of 2020. Oh my God. And I specifically, I went, I went to FedEx okay. to pick it up. I didn't want it delivered to me. Smart man. You know. <laughs> the secondary spoiler, which the is the same one I yep, have with yep, the carbon yep, inlet. Yep, I love that. Exactly. 
Morgan Tail Lights. Morgan Tail Lights. Absolutely. Of course. And uh, Morgan, you can't Morgan forget, license plate. Morgan license plate with the plate frame bolts. Okay, so yeah, with the plate frame bolts, I bought a, uh, a US one so I could use the Japan one. Interesting. Well, I have this titanium on. Uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, because it, it was part of the catalog. Ah. So I had to put, you know, that's and, fair. Uh, it was, it was a gift for me. Love it. So we're gonna exhaust the full we're gonna exhaust full titanium. Full titanium. Did you see the video of them making it? I have a yes, video to send. You, you tagged me. You, you, yep. I, I mean, mean, you sent it to me. When I say it's full titanium, everything, everything is titanium. Even it's, the bolt, the bolts that came with it. Yeah, it's exactly. Simply spectacular and hand Correct. assembled. I mean, they hand assemble the whole thing. It, it's exactly. simply awesome. Yep. What do you got inside the hatch here? Oh, I like this. Of course, I have the trunk cover. It's very cool. Cover. Trunk cover is, uh, of course, Mugen, and I get the little magazines there. Very cool. Rep and King Motorsports. Motors Very King cool. Motorsports, Scott. Motors, Motors. Uh, of course, North American's only Mugen dealer. That's which, correct. Officially, which is amazing. That's correct. And I know there's more things we can't see in the suspension. You have a couple of the parts on there, right? Oh, yes. So you have a Mugen bar up in the front. There's a Mugen, Mugen bar up in the front. I believe it's the first first in the US that's installed okay. so and you said something interesting to me that I never noticed before on the hood the seam and the, the seam. carbon fiber right there, runs yes. straight to the middle and then matches the trunk, the trunk. Spoiler, spoiler seam that exactly. goes right at the middle so it's made to be one complete kit exactly so you gotta buy both that you, you do gotta <laughs> buy if you're out there you gotta buy both and if you don't know how expensive these are check out King Motorsports and you're gonna get a, a big surprise there for sure <laughs> Steering wheel, shift knob, start button, off off on. The seats. The seats. The seats, seats are moving in the FK. Mugen. This is exactly both of them. You didn't just do the driver's seat. You did both. Very, I did very both. Nice. MSZ reclinable with the bride. Uh, everything's JDM bride um, rails, and of course the red carpet for right hand drive for the right hand drive. Oh, so you got the carpet? Yeah. They don't make them for the left hand no, drive. No, it's not. It's not got a perfect it. fit, but I could lock one side. It's so close. It's good enough. And then the the door sills. Door sills. Oh, and and the kick panel right there. The exactly. Little yep. Both, because I have a lot of kids. They're always with me, so I have the front and back, which yeah. they don't make it for the back, but obviously I, I made it work. And what what number is this? This is number twenty eight. 28 USA 28 only 600 made and this is 28 and I've seen your t-shirts and everything you're very proud <laughs> of that number that's course, awesome yeah yeah it's a good that luck number awesome. it is it is so let's let's move over so you have the, the scratch resistant exactly. door handles like I, said, I like those kids. what do you have what do you have under the hood done oh okay let's uh, check that out it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward it's it's a type R it's it should be straightforward yeah it's uh simple very simple try to keep it as simple as possible less carbon fiber is better i guess oh that's so nice inventory intake and the full kits all full the way in exactly very sharp the carving um upper strut bar and of course we do have the mugen cap nice. and a seeker because mugen hasn't hasn't made one. Oh, mugen, mugen if you're watching this video i'm sure you are you need to make an oil cap filler oil. and if and if you have one it's ebay yeah, no. <laughs> oh yes, that that's from a, a Japanese car. Uh, it, it was made. I forgot what what model, but it was. It's supposed to go on the mirror of ah, one of the Japanese I cars. See. You have it for just as an added. Exactly, because uh, I like the the way it's shaped. It matches the. It does. So. Yeah, everything matches very much. If you guys remember. Not too long ago, I did a spoon catalog FK. It wasn't yellow, it wasn't limited edition. And now we did a Mugen, and what I'm going to ask you guys, not that I want you to pick sides, but I'm gonna ask you to pick sides. Do you guys prefer the Mugen built FK8 or the spoon built FK8? Leave your comments below. Thank you, Eric, for bringing it out. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you. And as always, guys, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're in the know.